Gentlelady from California, Ms. Walters. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Director Lee, the uh, correlation between strong intellectual property systems and innovative economies cannot be denied. Uh, moreover, less developed economies benefit greatly from those innovations over time. Unfortunately, maintaining strong intellectual property rights continues to be a contentious issue at the United Nations. And recent efforts at the UN, particularly the UN High-Level Panel on Access to Medicines, seem to be dedicated to preventing the adoption of stronger global laws needed to protect creators and innovators overseas. That panel also seems resolved to circumvent the minimum standards that have already been agreed to at the WTO, which could undermine the United States IP system that is responsible for our own innovation, innovative success. Can you please tell me how the administration has responded to the UN panel on access to medicines and what the plan is to ensure uh, the UN serves to reinforce rather than challenge sound IP uh, policies? Thank you very much, uh, Congresswoman, for that question. And let me just start by saying that the USPTO supports expanding access to medicines, but it's important to consider really all aspects of this complex issues. And the UN panel uh, on high the UN high level panel on access to medicines uh, raised some serious concerns for us, particularly because the process followed in appointing the panel, and also because of the narrow and biased focus, excuse me, the narrow focus and the biased mandate of the panel. Let me give you an example. There's an unjustified assumption of IP uh, policy incoherence between the rights of inventors, trade rules, human rights laws, and public health. Uh, the administration uh, responded to the establishment of this panel and expressed concerns. We worked with an interagency group to formulate our response, and they have not yet come out with the report but when they do, we will review it carefully and, of course, take appropriate steps. So to answer your questions about what are we doing generally in the UN to make sure that we are uh, promoting intellectual property rights and the importance of them, uh, we routinely work with um, our peers in the United States government to ensure that the UN serves to reinforce sound IP policies that promote the interest of innovators as well as consumers. And I know myself, I oftentimes engage on a bilateral basis with other countries who share our IP values precisely to achieve some of these goals. 